This is the Snowbiz Now Entertainment Network. Thai royalty and Parisian fashion have had a strong association for many decades. In particular, Her Majesty Queen s i r i k e t who has visited France on many occasions. Largely inspired by Her Majesty the Queen, her 20-year-old granddaughter, Princess Siriwanwadi Neriwat, has today developed her very own fashion house and label, Siriwanwadi. Which, from Paris Fashion Week 2007, is now recognized as an important element of this world center of fashion. I had the honor of meeting Her Royal Highness at Bangkok Fashion Week 2006. I'm Nicholas Snow, in from Hollywood, looking for the Hollywood in Thailand, and tonight is yet another exciting, glamorous night. where I am so honored to be here for the opening night of Elle Fashion Week. And tonight I'm at Central World, where Her Royal Highness Princess s i r i w a n r e d i is showing off her new women's wear and men's wear collections for her next line. She was just at Paris Fashion Week, and now here she is in Bangkok. Mr. Alain h i v e l e n is the chairman and CEO of the House of Belmont. I met him when he first came to Bangkok as part of the press conference in which Her Royal Highness Princess s i r i w a n r a d i was officially invited to participate in Paris Fashion Week. Such a lot has happened since that exciting day when you first came and you announced to millions of Thai citizens and fans of Her Royal Highness that she would be going to Paris. So you were in Paris with her. First of all, tell me a little bit about the history of the House of Belmont with the Thai royal family. Well, this history began in 1960 when Pierre b e l m a i n uh, was uh, chosen by Her Majesty Queen s i r i k i t to create all a uh, wardrobe for official travel to Europe. And since then, uh, after Pierre b e l m a i n died, Eric Mortensen, the first uh, the designer and art director of the house, uh, continued this special relationship. And unfortunately, uh, Eric died too in uh, a few years ago, and uh, we continued the same relationship because House of Belma has always dedicated special thought to the royal family of Thailand. And when I discovered uh, in Takon Nakhon uh, two years ago uh, that a young princess was. Uh, the designer I was discovering, I was t o r n by the quality and the maturity of her design. Even so, she was only 17 and a half or 18 years old, and I saw that it was in the continuation of our relationship to invite her to show her work in Paris. The collection, which debuted in Paris, is entitled "Presence of the Past." And was created with an underlying harmonious concept. Her Royal Highness says that her spring-summer 2008 ready-to-wear collection comprises 39 looks, which explicitly demonstrate all semi-couture finished details, and is a crystallization of ideas derived from various inspired sources. However, her paramount influence since childhood is her grandmother, Queen s i r i k e t Whose refined manner of dress and impeccable sense of style has continuously enhanced the magnificence of Thai craftsmanship. Um, I'm a production house, so um, the princess design everything, and I just follow her design and make it come true, come to. The women's collection embodies modern femininity with an implicit yet subtle mixture of contemporary with Thai elegance. Some outfits feature additional luxury fabrics such as silk crepe and silk chiffon to create a couture touch, perfectly blending Oriental with avant-garde, conveying the very essence of Thainess. The men's collection features a complete wardrobe for the fashion-conscious working man, going from day to night, from vacation to formal meeting. 
there's quite a team who's involved with helping Her Royal Highness bring her vision to fruition. With me I have Kun Saxet, who's also very famous with his connection with Tube Gallery, famous design here in Thailand. Congratulations on your work and tonight's show was very exciting. I have actually two roles in this show. First of all, Tube Gallery, we uh, produce the men's collection according to her design. And um, we have been doing that for the last three seasons, actually four. Um, and another role is I'm looking after the production side of the, you know, um, the show. And, and this is um, the repeat show after the um, Paris Fashion Week last, last month. Yeah. Uh, plus you added the men's collection tonight, which wasn't in Paris. Exactly, because, you know, in, in Paris, we, when you show the collection in Paris, you, you tend to show men's collection in men's show and women's collection in women's show. So to be professional, we also follow that rule. So for us tonight, but in Thailand, the rule is different. People like to see the mixture of the men's and women. People love to see the, the, the full collection, and this is what's happening tonight. I'm here with Kun Itipan and Kun Kitty. They're the powerhouse behind Kitty's jewelry, but for at least the last year, I know they've been very devoted to supporting and being of service to Her Royal Highness Princess Siri Wanrui in her preparations for Paris Fashion Week, which is coming on. So tell me uh, uh, what your role has been in, in terms of being on the team. Well, we actually were invited by the faculty of Fine and Apply Arts at Jula Longkorn University to give Her Royal Highness a special lesson of jewelry making classes since Her Royal Highness was still in grade, in high school, in grade 10, 11 and 12. For, so we've been her teacher for three years. And after that she started to be involved in the fashion industry quite a lot more. So this is our fourth fashion show we did uh, from all of her designs for the jewelry collections. So the jewelry that's used is provided by the two of you and that's your connection with the specific show like tonight and in Paris? Yes, of course. For our old, uh, Her, Her Royal Highness, all the shows, we produce all the jewelry collections. Her Royal Highness, Princess Siri Wan Radi Neriwat, feels that through this universal language of fashion, the virtues of the Thai fashion industry can be acknowledged and appreciated throughout the world. However, her hard-won success was not achieved overnight, but as a result of a full year of hard work involving conceptualization, production planning, and fashion show organization, along with Her Royal Highness's natural flair and talent for the fashion milieu. The reward is this unique collection, which celebrates the marriage of Thailand's rich artistic history with a breathtaking glimpse towards the future of fashion. Well, in Paris, the presentation was made only for 40 looks, when tonight it was a little more complete, and when we met look that is quite strong, uh, the position she's taken, uh, she, she has taken with uh, men's uh, fashion is very strong, very interesting. And uh, I'm a believer in her talent. And I think that opening the Fashion Week in 2007 for spring summer 2008 is only a beginning for international uh, presence of our Linus. I cannot tell you more tonight. This is the Snowbiz Now Entertainment Network.